of, of the Indiana State Capitol in Indianapolis. And they have beautiful domes in the rotunda room. And then they have the statues of law, oratory, like agriculture, commerce, justice, liberty. I gotta go over there and see what else they got. And this capital is gray, black, um, rune color. Their columns are of gray marble. And then they have the pink marble. These are the wings on each side of the rotunda. And their color scheme and candelabras are the same. It is a beautiful state capital. Okay, we are on the fourth floor of the Capitol building. This is where the committee members, different committees have their offices. You will notice the ornate uh, woodwork design and colors. This main color tone in here is blue for the ceiling. Now this is a kind of a gray color ceiling, but in the rotunda it is blue. So their ceilings are blue and white also. And if you will notice that the banisters surrounding the atrium is made of wood and painted with gold. They are not marble as they are in other capital buildings. Okay. This is looking down at the floor from the fourth floor and you can see the beautiful star maple not maple, but marble. And they have many activities in this capitol building. And looking up. Okay. As you leave the floor and you go up to the dome glass, which is blue, it was also said there is this much area between the dome glass and the ceiling as there is from the floor to the dome. About five stories. Okay, here we go. Okay, the candelabra. It is the second largest in the state building. And it holds a hundred lights, which represent a hundred representatives in the state of Indiana. And this is the House of Representatives chamber. And we're up in the gallery. Okay. Room. We're up in the Senate chambers. It is very bland compared to the House of Representatives. I think if we go down some, there is a dome. Here's the dome that's in here. Yeah, this is the dome that lights the Senate chambers. They do not have a candelabra. Just take a seat. And I do not know how many senators they have. I would imagine 50 if they have a 100 representatives. Okay, we are on the third floor. And we're looking at the chandeliers, which are very ornate. And when they built this building, they wired for electricity, but due to the expense of the electric, they also use gas jets. If you will notice that the lights that are looking towards the ceiling were the ones that were used for gas, and the ones at the lower part of the candelabra 
were the ones that were connected to the electricity. Going down to the first floor, and you can see we are close enough that you can see how ornamental the candelabras are. They're just beautiful. They say these are all duplicates of the originals because the originals were taken out before the renovation of this building. And they just had to rest some lights on the ceiling. You know what this is, but it's in the middle of Capitol Street. And we're going to swing on to Capitol. Try to get a picture of the dome and the building from the outside. Because it is so tall. And there it is. Okay, we're going up to Capitol and then go that way. 